Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. This water's warm. It's almost like a hot spring. Look at that thing. It's huge. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. There's a rupture up there. Maybe a way in. Yeah, this could get me inside. Okay, hey, looks like this tunnel leads deeper into the structure. turbine from spinning to get past it. There's gotta be a way to stop that turbine around here somewhere. Stop the turbine. Good.
Okay, I'm inside, but how do I let the Quinn in? It looks like an exercise room. Here I am again, hiding in the gym, writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday and then suddenly passed away in his sleep and no one will talk to me about it. They treat me like a child, whispering behind my back as if I can't cope with death even after the end of the world. The living area. It's pretty big, too. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and, well, let's face it, a harem living through the end times in a trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. There's nothing normal about a scientist, his daughter, a guru, and well, let's face it, a harem living through the end times in a trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's going to be okay.
I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Somtow to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's hope this is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. There, the door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, she's different. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm going to find out what it is. Good. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit initiated. 